Hey everybody, this, this video is going to be on if, if solar is worth it or not. So I'm on year four on being on solar. I gradually ramped up, started with the Harbor Freight system. Pretty, pretty solid when it was 200 watts. They come 100 watts. But then I put in a 600 watt with my panels to run my refrigerator with a pretty substantial battery bank. I went with AMG, so I'm talking technical speak, so if you're just starting out in solar, and probably who will be watching this video, AMGs are matte batteries. They're not wet batteries. They're matte. They don't put off hydrogen gas, per se, as a wet battery, and that's why I went with it, because I didn't want to build a battery box with it. So, is solar worth it? Well, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, I'm going to say no especially if you're off-grid and trying to do all this yourself. You can go watch cartoons if that's all you wanted to know. I'll go into some more detail on why I think it's not worth it per se. So one, it's not worth it if you're on-grid. If you're on-grid, don't do it. If you're worried about losing power or you want some backup, get a propane-backed generator, get a 500-pound tank for it, have an automatic switch for it, have it where if the grid power goes off, it automatically turns on. That's perfect. That's all you need. That's all you want. I've done that. When I was living on grid, I had I had a backup generator. That's all I needed. I was going to be drinking water as a top. For me, I, I don't know if it's a term or not, but I've got battery bank anxiety. I am constantly watching my battery bank gauges to see how full they are, how much power I'm making. I'm tired of it. Uh, I want everything on here to be automatic and just work smooth as glass. So I've got a refrigerator. It's AC. It's not a DC refrigerator. I, my thinking at the time was, well, it'd be easy to replace. If the crap hits the fan, I can trade and go get something else. So let me talk about the crap hitting the fan. I'm not a prepper. I just planned. I went down at Katrina and helped. I saw what the crap hitting the fan is. So there's your wake up call. I work in the electrical industry. We had power back up technically for the majority of people up in a week. So backup generator, 500 pound, 1,000 pound tank, you're going to be good. If your house is destroyed, you don't need power anyway. For me, so what I, for me, what I'm going to be doing, I'm technically going to be abandoning my battery bank in place, and I'm going with propane. Well. What are you going to do when if it hits the fan? How are you going to get propane? Well, let's just talk about that. Uh, I'm going to use the C word, COVID. To me, that's the crap hitting the fan. Propane was pretty easy to get. Propane's pretty cheap right now. With all the fracking that we've done, propane's going to be cheap for quite a while. Uh, the refrigerator that I purchased that I'll be installing has AC backup. So it can run on AC, which I've got right now because of my battery bank and it can run on propane. So let's start talking math. You know, you can go with your feelings and how you feel about renewable energy and going green and crap hit in the fan. Well, it's all fine and dandy the calculator gets out. So I've got a battery that's trying to go bad out of my whole bank. So replace the battery. Well, that battery's 400 bucks. Okay, just replace the $400 and move on. You can't do that. Because if you got a fresh, brand new battery and older batteries, it becomes a parasitic load and it will hit that new battery and bring it down just to the old one. So you're, you're, yeah, you replaced a bad battery, but I have a brand new battery that'll now be four years old. That's $400. Or I can start applying that money to the propane refrigerator. That battery that's going bad, if I take the biggest load off of it, and I put a battery saver on it and start hitting it, I can restore that battery pretty good. But the problem is, is I got a critical load on it. It's my refrigerator. Am I going to chance my meat, my vegetables, and the code adult beverages going bad? Absolutely not. Another thing I got going on, February, I make no power. We're up here in the mountain. This place gets blacked out a lot. We're in the clouds, no power. Uh, I wind up just turning it off and using a, a cooler for a little, for about two to three weeks. I put a wind turbine up. It'll help. But they're super expensive. So much that you could buy another battery bank. What are you going to do? 
So let's talk the math. It would cost me $2,800 to replace my battery bank. That's no labor included. That's no additional parts. Well, I want a propane, I want a propane refrigerator. I also want a propane freezer, which I ordered. Well, to run that refrigerator or that freezer on a battery bank, that was going to cost me $2,200. So we're already at five grand. That's nuts. An average cost for a propane refrigerator or freezer is around $1,700. Uh, the reason I say average, you go online, there's bigger numbers for that stuff. I found mine at Home Depot. It cost me $55 to ship it. I found a $100 rebate. So even with that $1,700, I'm going to get that price down a little bit. So a battery bank has got a 7-year to 10-year lifespan. Well, that ain't, that's on paper. It's not working out. I might read four years and the life, I can see the life already getting sucked out of them. So let's just say it's seven years. We'll go for a happy medium from five to ten years for the life of a battery bank. Well, a propane appliance doesn't have a whole lot of moving parts in it. It uses a flame. That flame hits ammonia and makes gas, absorption, it gets the heat out of that box. The average life for a propane freezer, unless something really goes wrong and you let it rust out, is 20 years. That's a long time. I'm in my 50s. I, I don't think I'm going to be in this place in my 70s. So this is going to be, on paper, a lifetime appliance. Okay, let's talk. Well, you got to refill the tank. All right. I just got a 100 pound. I'm not including buying the price of the tank. You can get those from anywhere. From I've seen $180. I've seen them on Craigslist for 20 bucks. Used, but... So that number's all over the place. You need a 100 pound propane tank anyway, especially if you're going to be off grid. So it cost me $56 just to fill that up. It's going to cost me $28 a month to run it. Now here's a funny number here. I did the math. It cost about $22 to run a refrigerator electric on the grid. So I did the math. If I was on grid and using a propane refrigerator, it would take me 4.5 years to pay that refrigerator off with the savings between buying electricity and buying propane. It's pretty good. So it tells you how efficient they are. Uh, propane's very efficient. When I was a kid, you could it was pretty easy to buy a propane refrigerator. Uh, electricity will be going up in price if you're wanting to stay on grid. That is something to think about with the renewable energies coming on with solar and uh, wind turbine and coal plants and nuke plants getting shut down. When that final push goes over the renewables, you're going to find out prices are, prices are going to go up. If you don't think that's true, look at California. Uh, a nuclear plant can run 24-7. However you feel about nuclear plant, I'm in the nuclear industry. We can do it for pennies on the dollar once it's running. Building one is insanely expensive, and there'll never be another one built. But that's another subject for another time. So I don't want to keep going here. I'm sure the flame war will start on the comments. I actually welcome it. Um, it's pretty easy for me to talk about something if I've lived it and done it. And here I've lived it and I've done it. I've got a battery bank. I did not scrimp on anything when it came for that refrigerator to run that off solar. Uh, I, if I had to do it over, I wish I'd have gone to propane. If you're thinking about going off grid and you wonder about what appliances to get, <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, guys sitting right here, four years in it, don't do it, get propane. Suck it up, spend the more money that it costs to buy that propane appliance. Electric refrigerator is around $500 to $600. You're going to spend a thousand more dollars right off the bat to get that propane refrigerator. That said, you'll probably go through three electric refrigerators and you'll still have that propane fridge. You'll probably have to replace a gasket on it eventually. That's pretty easy to do. So th this is going to wrap it up. Is solar worth it? I can't say it is per se. And I, let me re recap that. Running appliances and loads for the layman that's going to do it himself, it's not worth it. It's great for lights as you see. It's great for fans. It's great for running your laptop. Uh, I got an exhaust fan for my stove. It's great. It's DC. I've got a, a poo poo fan in the, in the bathroom. It's DC. That's great. But for dependable, will it work? 
I'm deep in the woods and you did it yourself, no, go with propane. I've seen on YouTube these guys that got these elaborate systems, Engineer 775, if you watched him on YouTube, I don't know who can afford that. And the people that are getting it, they're not building it, he's building it for them. And now they're hostage to get somebody to take care of it. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. If I can't do it myself, I don't want it. I'm the guy that's got to fix it, and I'm not getting anybody out here to work on it anyway. So here we are. If you want appliances to cool your meat, your vegetables, freeze them, get a propane. If you want to run a washing machine, clean your clothes, don't do it with a battery bank. You'll, I don't know who's got to come, get a generator. If you can hear in the background, there's an air conditioning running. I only got to run it for a couple weeks out of the year where I'm at. It's on a generator doesn't use that much gas. So, uh, is solar worth it? No. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the time to take it and, uh, the time to watch this video. Please leave me a comment. I, I don't even mind you sharing if you want to share this with some guys that are into solar. But I do appreciate you watching and uh, take care and God bless.